Welcome to this Yokogawa e-learning module. This module covers the digital year flow basic installation. When you have completed this module, you should understand piping, gasket, heat insulation, gas or steam measuring precautions, liquid measurement precautions, piping for avoiding bubbles, and multi-phase flow. Let's look at piping. This is a reducer pipe. Ensure that the upstream straight pipe is 5D or longer, and the downstream straight pipe 5D or more after a reducer pipe. Next is an expander pipe. Ensure that the upstream straight pipe is 10D or longer, and the downstream straight pipe is 5D or longer after an expander pipe. This is a single bend pipe. Ensure that the upstream straight pipe is 10D or longer, and the downstream straight pipe is 5D or longer after a single bend pipe. Next is a double bend pipe co-planner. Ensure that the upstream straight pipe is 10D or longer, and the downstream straight pipe is 5D or more. This is a double bend pipe non-co-planner. Ensure that the upstream straight pipe is 20D or longer, and the downstream straight pipe is 5D or longer. Let's look at the valve position and straight pipe length. The length of the upstream straight pipe depends on which element is located upstream, such as a reducer or expander, bend pipe, etc. Refer to the descriptions in previous figures. Make sure that the length of the downstream pipe is 5D or more. If the valve has to be installed upstream of the flow meter, ensure the upstream straight pipe is 20D or longer, and the downstream straight pipe is 5D or longer. Next is fluid vibration. Fluid vibrations can occur in a gas line which uses a position type or roots type blower compressor, or a high pressure liquid line about 1 MPa or more, which uses a piston type or plunder type pump. In these cases, install a valve on the upstream side of the digital year flow. In the case in this figure, install a valve downstream of the digital year flow. For the vibrating fluid, put a vibration damping device such as throttling plate or expansion section on the upstream side of the digital year flow. In this case, Install an accumulator on the upstream side of the digital year flow to reduce fluid vibrations. When pulsation occurs that is caused by T-type piping, install the valve on the upstream side of the flow meter. When the valve is turned off, meter A should read zero even if fluid flows through B. However, due to the pulsating pressure, the meter fluctuates. To avoid this, Place the valve in the upstream location. Next are pressure and temperature taps. A pressure tap outlet is installed between 2D and 7D on the downstream side of a flow meter. A temperature tap outlet is installed on the downstream side, 1D to 2D away from the pressure tap. Next is a mounting gasket. Do not allow mounting gaskets to protrude into the pipeline. This may cause inaccurate readings. Use the gaskets with bolt holes, even if the digital year flow is a wafer type. When using a spiral gasket, without bolt holes, confirm the size with the gasket manufacturer, as standard items may not be used for certain flange ratings. Next is heat insulation. When an integral type flow meter or a remote type detector is installed and the pipe carrying high temperature fluids is heat insulated, do not wrap adiabatic materials around the installation bracket, DY15 to DY100, or the nozzle, DY150 to DY400. Mount the digital year flow in a vertical pipeline to avoid liquid traps. When the digital year flow is installed horizontally, Raise the part of the pipeline in which the digital year flow is installed. To ensure accurate measurement, the digital year flow must always have a full pipe. Allow the flow to flow against gravity. If the flow is moving with gravity, 
lift the downstream pipe length above the digital year flow to maintain a full pipeline. Flows containing both gas and liquid can cause problems. Avoid gas bubbles in a liquid flow. Install piping to avoid generating bubbles. Install the valve on the downstream side of the flow meter because pressure drop across the control valve may cause gas to come out of the solution. The digital year flow can measure gas, liquid, and steam as long as there is no change in state. However, accurate measurement of mixed flows, such as gas and liquid, is not possible. Mist flow is not measurable. Stratified flow is not measurable. Bubble flow is not measurable. In closing, let's summarize this section. Straight pipes. Reducers, expanders, and bend pipes require straight pipes of certain length. Gaskets. Prevent mounting gaskets from protruding into the pipeline as this may cause inaccurate readings. Heat insulation. Do not wrap adiabatic materials around the installation bracket, DY15 to DY100, or the nozzle, DY150 to DY400. Gas or steam measurement. Mount the digital year flow in a vertical pipeline to avoid liquid traps. Liquid measurement. To ensure accurate measurement, the digital year flow must always have a full pipe. Multi-phase flow. Accurate measurement of mixed flows, such as gas and liquid, is not possible. This concludes our module on the basic installation for digital year flow vortex flow meters. For more information or to contact us, please visit our website and official channel on YouTube. Thank you.